Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Reviews, back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Modest Man Brewing out of Keene, New Hampshire. This is Mega, the Mad Villainy Edition. Clocks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Thank you to Bumpy Road Brews for this can. I really appreciate it. Link to his channel in the description below. If you haven't already checked him out, please go do so. Chances are you've seen him on my channel with uh, some of the reviews that we've done together, live streams over the years. Anyway, appreciate it, Bumpy. Uh, it's a double IPA, yeah, 8.5%. They use Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. It gives some tasting notes. We won't get into that. We'll determine that on our own. Uh, that's all the information I've got. So... Bodice Man makes some really incredible juicy IPAs. The Mega that I had, the regular Mega, was amazing. So I have pretty high hopes for the super villainy, or the mad villainy edition. As you can see already with the poor, fits the bill. Nice, bright, orange, murky, Pretty much opaque, can't see through it. Appearance, finger and a half's worth of a relatively creamy looking white head. Oh yeah, smells um, very citrus forward. Some tangerine and lemon citrus. Touch of pineapple. A little bit of a bready malt note. No alcohol at 8.5. A little grapefruit. That's pretty much all I'm getting. It smells really nice. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Mm. It's really nice. Surprisingly light-bodied for an 8.5%. Super refreshing. So, of course, the citrus notes are coming through right up front. Some orange citrus. A little bit of a lemon peel type note as well that I'm picking up on, which is interesting. A little pineapple, but something else in there too. I think maybe papaya or passion fruit. There's some other kind of, you know, tropical exotic fruit in there. I'm having a hard time placing just for the sake of it here. We'll look at the, um, the label. Lush citrus, yes. Ripe passion fruit. So that's, I guess that's what I'm getting. Delicate spice. Okay. So passion fruit, yeah. Definitely getting that. I don't eat passion fruit and papaya a lot, so sometimes it's hard for me to determine which one it is. Uh, but I definitely was picking that up. Um, yeah, so tropical fruit, the citrus, a little bit of a bready malt, mo a malt note in the middle of the sip. The body with this one is like low medium. It's very easy drinking, refreshing. Carbonation is on the medium side. Nice prickly carbonation. And the finish is juicy. It's juicy throughout. Juicy on the finish. No alcohol presence. 8.5%. It's getting up there. Really smooth all the way through. This is a winner. <clears throat> I don't know what I gave the, the standard mega um, from Modest Man. This is... At least as good, if not better, than that one. Um, this is a 97 for me. 97 out of 100. A solid A. Not quite world class, but pretty dang close. Um, really, a, a, a just an outstanding beer. Um, if you like juicy IPAs, juicy doubles, you're going to... You're going to love this, I think. Uh, you can't go wrong. You get the citrus. You get the tropical fruit. Um, a little bit of that bready malt character in the middle of the sip. 
a light body, medium carbonation, super crushable at 8.5%. You can get in a lot of trouble drinking this one because it's just so smooth and easy drinking. Um, so 97 out of 100 for the Modest Man Mega, the Mad Villainy Edition. Thanks again to Bumpy Road Brews. Like I said, link to his channel in the description below. That'll do it for this beer view, folks. 97 out of 100. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And we'll see you right here on the next Georgia Beer View. Until then, cheers, everybody.